Swarm. Do it. Do, 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 do. Bima. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Bimo Creative. We wanted to do a video series of drawings on this channel, but we also wanted to wait until we have a much better camera equipment, better camera setup. But then we figured, eh, why wait? So, hope you enjoy this drawing video. Thanks so much. After much thought, I figured to start on the most inspirational person, and that's Jesus. What does Jesus look like? Well, for me, he looks like the actor Jim Cavazel, who portrayed him in the 2004 Mel Gibson movie, The Passion of the Christ. So what does Jesus mean to me? Well, the best way to sum that up, to me, was provided by S.M. Lockridge, who is a minister in a series of excerpts from a sermon he gave about prayer and amen. I'll read those excerpts while I draw Jesus. I hope you enjoy. The Bible says, my king is a seven-way king. He's the king of the Jews. He's the king of Israel. He's the king of righteousness. He's the king of the ages. He's the king of heaven. He's the king of glory. He's the king of kings, and he's the Lord of lords. That's my king. Well, I wonder, do you know him? David said, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. My king is a sovereign king. No means of measure can define his limitless love. No far-seeing telescope can bring into visibility the coastline of his shoreless supply. No barrier can hinder him from pouring out his blessings. He's enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's imperially powerful. He's impartially merciful. Do you know him? He's the greatest phenomenon that ever crossed the horizon of this world. He's God's Son. He's the Father. He's the Holy Ghost. He's a sinner's savior. He's the centerpiece of civilization. He stands in solitude of himself. He's awesome. He's unique. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He's the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's the supreme problem in higher criticism. He's the fundamental doctrine of true theology. He's the cardinal necessity of spiritual religion. He's the miracle of the age. He's the superlative of everything good that you can choose to call him. He's the only one qualified to be an all-sufficient savior. I wonder if you know him today. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He strengthens and sustains. He guards and he guides. He heals the sick, he cleanses lepers, he forgives sinners, he discharges debtors, he delivers captives, he defends the feeble, he blesses the young, he serves the unfortunate, he regards the aged, he rewards the diligent, and he beautifies the meek. I wonder, do you know him? Well, my king is the king. He's the key to knowledge. He's the wellspring of wisdom. He's the doorway of deliverance. He's the pathway of peace. He's the roadway of righteousness. He's the highway of holiness. He's the gateway of glory. Do you know him? Well, his office is manifold. His promise is true. His light is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient, his reign is righteous, his yoke is easy, and his burden is light. I wish I could, I wish I could describe him to you, but he's, he's indescribable, he's, he's incomprehensible, he's invincible, he's irresistible. Well, you can't get him out of your mind, you can't get him off your hand, you can't outlive him and you can't live without him. Pharisees couldn't stand him, but they found they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him. 
the witnesses couldn't get their testimonies to agree. Herod couldn't kill him, death couldn't handle him, and the grave couldn't hold him. That's my king. Father, yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. How long is that? And ever. And when you get through with all the forevers, then amen and amen.